Morris tapers, uh, they come in different sizes. You look at them in the machinery's handbook and uh, different tapers per foot. Apparently, I, I thought for a while in my mind, I was thinking they were all the same. They're close to the same, but they do vary a little bit. They're around five eighths of an inch per foot, but uh, it varies by number. We have them listed up to number seven. And there are sleeves if you need to adapt different sizes. Important thing is the taper is what holds by putting the taper together. And the tang is not meant to be a driving element. If you get to where the taper is not holding, the tang will twist. And when you put them together, you need to either line them up and slam them hard or put them down on some surface, which this is not really solid enough, but something solid to let their mass run them in. This is the big thing I want to talk about. Um, tapers uh, for knocking out your Morris taper. You have a rounded part. I should find a better one. I would think we have a better normal drift in here somewhere, although we don't hardly use them. There's a good one. Okay. Here is a good way, way back, long time ago, drift, and that's why it's in good shape, is because it was back in my toolbox a million years ago, obviously from being pink. One side is rounded. You want to pay attention to which side is rounded and goes up inside of your uh, adapters or your, your machine tool spindle. The straight side with the taper, it goes against the tool that you are extracting. The thing that's kind of a problem with these is, especially in a radial arm drill press, you see this all the time, you're up in the machine and uh, actually you can just cut out the walking over there if it's too much time, but let's just go over to the machine. And we'll just put in, it is, uh, this one's good for it, and it is a four Morris. So let's just grab a four Morris sleeve and we will walk over there and show exactly what I'm talking about that makes these the answer to the world's problems. Ah, we have a chuck in there, so that's good already. We have a hammer right here, okay? So, here is where the problem comes, and yes, we also already had another automatic one here. We come over here, we wanna take this drill chuck out, okay? This happens to be in good shape. It stays in there. It's not terrible, but uh, so we can come here and we do that and now uh, we pull this back out. A lot of times you will see that you've got a drift that doesn't really want to stay in there. It's a hold hammered drift. Uh, even good ones, a lot of times you're, you, these are used for several different sizes and it doesn't want to stay in there. So to get a good hit on it, you're holding on it, hitting this, and then you're worried about your, just like that. You're worried about your chuck falling and hitting something. The simple way is you use an automatic, a Armstrong automatic drill drift. And these are no longer made, um, but they're wonderful. It's all one piece, takes care of everything. Bert didn't know that they made them the other way. He was like, he thought these were standard and everybody had them. The reason that they uh, quit making them was they were just too expensive. Nobody was buying them. And then there started being some copycats made and uh, they make these in several sizes. We'll go back over to our Morris Taper uh, area again here. They make these in several sizes, just like the the other ones. We got a small one here, and uh, I forget. You can look up in an older McMaster car, or go online and find which sizes go for which size Morris taper. This is a one. This is a three. Um, we could actually post that. I've got older. I think I still have older McMaster cars that list these, and so we could see which ones go to which side for people. Um, they're not, uh, they, they were ridiculous prices. You know, this was like 600 bucks, and this was 350 or something when they last had them. The 
copies, which I think we put, we had it out the other day. This is one of the other brand ones. And I bought some of these when I couldn't get, well, at first I bought these because I couldn't afford early on the Armstrong ones. And then I got to where I could afford them and I found they quit making them. So then I couldn't get them. And what I finally did was I started buying them off eBay. And there's been a while that you could not get these on eBay at all because Howie's Machine Shop bought every one that came up. Currently, we're no longer buying them. We have plenty of them. <laughs> uh, they're a little slow showing up on eBay, but they will show up and you can buy them there. Um, these ones are a lot more affordable. This particular one says it's SMT Manufacturing, Huntington, Indiana. Uh, I know there were a couple other brands of them. The cheapy ones like this without a spring, um, they're in the you know, 30 to $50 range. The, there's another one that I saw too, which has two pieces and a little lever that wedges in between them. And I think if your taper was not tight, those would probably work, but I don't have much faith in them. If it was real hard, hard in there, I think it's just gonna tear up because it's a two piece on the wedge and it's just not gonna be that strong. Never had one though. Let's go for kicks. Let's see, while we're doing it, let's just see if we can get the information as to which of the uh, tapers is available for which of the Armstrong automatic drifts. 75, taper shank removal tools. Uh-oh, not in here. It's an older book, yeah, that was a long time ago. I don't think I still have one old enough to have that information. Apparently they cut them out behind whatever year this book is, which is the oldest of my newer books. And the old, old ones, I sold all of them, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to do, maybe we can do some other researching on the internet to find for people and maybe not. Maybe that's just all we got to offer on the Morris tapers and the automatic drill drifts today. The library, this is backup library, also has stuff. Um, it looks relatively small today as far as books. It's actually maybe we need to purge stuff more than books. <laughs> 